Today we'll be looking at 14 common mistakes made when building a PC. Even when all the computer parts are compatible with each other, there are still some common mistakes that people make during the building process. So let's take a look at those now. Number one, installing a fan the wrong way around. Many of us have done this at one point or another. You install a fan only to realize that you've just put it in the wrong way around. But this is often no problem. Just check the fans, then correct any that are facing the wrong way. The general rule for this is, air should be blowing in at the front of the computer case and blowing out at the back. Some cases allow air to blow out at the top as well. Number two, forgetting the motherboard's IO plate. With just about every motherboard, there will be an IO plate that comes with it which should be installed into the computer case before installing the motherboard. For those that forget to put this plate in first, we'll then have to take the motherboard out, install the IO plate, then reinstall the motherboard. So just remember to install the plate first. Number three, installing standoffs incorrectly. Standoffs are small metal stands inside the computer case that are used for the motherboard to sit on. These are used in almost every computer case. Sometimes they come pre-installed and sometimes you have to install them yourself. When the motherboard is installed, there should be a standoff directly behind every screw hole found on the motherboard. Any standoffs that do not line up with the screw hole should then be removed from the case. This is very simple to do, but those that don't do this could end up with a short circuit. So one standoff for each screw hole on the motherboard and no more. Number four, over tightening screws. When putting in any screws, over tightening them could lead to something being cracked or damaged in some way. Instead, just tighten each screw so that each component is firmly held in place without overdoing it. Number five, Dropping a screw inside the computer case. If you do drop a screw inside the case, it could end up rolling behind the motherboard. If it's left there and the computer is turned on, the motherboard could then potentially have a short circuit. So if you do drop a screw, this is no problem. Just remove it before turning the computer on. Number six, not removing stickers. Some of the computer components will have plastic stickers on them. If they haven't been removed before the computer has been turned on, they could potentially cause a problem. So check your parts for any plastic stickers that are supposed to be removed, then simply peel them off. Number seven, forgetting to add CPU paste. If there's no paste between the CPU and the CPU cooler, the CPU will get very hot very quickly and will overheat. To stop this from happening, just add some thermal paste between them. By the way, there are many CPU coolers that already have some paste pre-applied to the cooler itself so that you don't have to add any paste at all. But if it hasn't, then put some on the CPU to help it stay cooler. Number eight, the CPU fan has not been connected to the motherboard. Every motherboard will have a place where the CPU fan can be plugged in. If you do forget to plug it in, just make sure your computer is turned off, then plug the CPU fan connector into the motherboard. Number nine, not giving power to every component that needs it. Every component in the computer needs power. They all get their power directly from the power supply or from the motherboard or both. Just check that each component has power, such as the motherboard, hard drive, case fans, and so on. One thing that is often forgotten is the CPU power cable. This is a cable that leads from the power supply and straight onto the motherboard. This will help give power to the CPU. So remember to plug that one in as well. Number 10, not seating components properly. If a component, such as a graphics card, system memory, or some other component is only partially plugged in, it's likely that the computer, when it's turned on, 
won't even know it's there. So simply check that each component has been firmly plugged in. Number 11, plug in the monitor into the motherboard. Many people have plugged the monitor straight into the motherboard when they have a dedicated graphics card just sat there in the computer case. If you do have a graphics card, whilst the computer is turned off, plug the monitor into the graphics card instead of the motherboard. Number 12, not switching on the power supply. So the computer has been built, is plugged into the wall, the power button on the computer case has been pressed, but the computer shows no signs of life. When this happens, it's normally because the switch on the power supply is still turned off. Just switch it on and try again. Number 13, working on the computer whilst it's powered on. If you add or remove anything inside the computer case whilst it's powered up, a circuit board or two could be ruined. For example, if you plug in a graphics card while the computer is still on, there is a chance that the motherboard or graphics card or both will be ruined. To avoid this problem, simply turn your computer off at the power supply switch too, and then you can make any changes that need to be made such as connecting that case fan you forgot to plug in. Number 14, no Windows operating system. If you're building your own computer, there will be no pre-installed operating system. For those that are used to getting a pre-built computer that already has Windows installed, it can be quite easy to forget to pick up an operating system to go with the new PC. So that's one other thing to remember. Okay, so that was 14 mistakes that people commonly make when building a PC. Obviously there are other mistakes that could be made, but the ones mentioned in this video are some of the most common. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.